We had a comment this week under my video, the realities of post-date harassment for women. And that's why I interviewed a colleague of mine who was a woman that got harassed extensively by guys. And so that's why, you know, sometimes she'll pull away or that's why she doesn't need guys that she's dating to move as fast, you know? So this guy left a comment. He said, we have to play a game of red light, green light with women. We message them, go on dates and hook up. Then for no reason at all, they stop replying and we experience radio silence. Don't bother her for a month or two. If you run into each other on the street, say a friendly hello with an excited voice, wave your hands and greet her as you would while picking up the mail or with your friends after work. Then the dating picks up again along with intimacy and sharing. But soon there's silence again. Everything has to go at the woman's pace. We men have no control over it. If we push, when she starts behaving weirdly, we get blocked and HR contacts us. If we totally disregard the woman, we're labeled as unfriendly. So I appreciate that comment because it really does talk, it really does um, highlight the experience and frustration that a lot of you guys are having during the dating process. Now, I used to be in that same boat. I used to feel all the things that this guy is feeling and thinking. I'm no longer in that boat. And that's because I, I diligently went into wanting to learn and understand the ins and outs of women. I took it like a Spanish class. Like if I was, when I go into Spanish class, I am bad at speaking Spanish. But if I, if I take the lessons, if I practice a few times, if I, you know, take some tests and some are like C minuses and some are Bs and eventually I get to A's, then I gradually get good at it. But going in and trying to speak Spanish initially is frustrating when you don't have a basis for anything. You don't know that, you know, comida means food. You don't know that hola means hi, where like, like you don't know a lot of stuff. And so it can be very frustrating, right? So I wanna address some of the frustrations that this guy talked about because I think they're important for you as a guy to know because these, these frustrations are totally normal when you don't really know women all that well and it can be very frustrating, just like they get frustrated with us. So he says, we have to play a game of red light, green light with women. We message them, go on dates and hook up. And then for no reason at all, they stop replying and we experience radio silence. So the first thing is this, is that ultimately, more often than not, when a woman stops replying and goes silent, on average, it's not for no reason. It might be for reasons that you're currently unaware of as a guy, but it could be for reasons that have to do with you. It could be for reasons that have to do with her. It could be for reasons that have to do with like other things going on in her life. You do not know, you know? I, I remember one time when I was in college, I got upset because there was this girl that I was trying to date and I knew that she liked me for a bit and then all of a sudden it just went away and I was like, what's that about? We've been friends for a long time. We, we, I, we seemed like we had a long great, or aren't we dating? And then like during the course of the next school year, it was kind of like she'd be flirting with me and then she liked me for a little bit and then it would go away and this, I don't know what's going on, right? Kind of found out years later, She's the full-blown lesbian now, and she was still trying to figure out that part of her journey. But I was taking it personally because I'm thinking it's because something I did, and I don't know what it is, and she's just all women are crazy, whatever. But the point is that she had her own stuff going on in her head, you know? And so I just thought as I've gotten older that sometimes things are happening that you don't know about that make her pull away. But sometimes also you as a guy are not aware that how you're talking, the things you're saying, the kind of date you're planning, the kind of topics you're bringing up on the date, the level of touchy feeling that you're trying to do early on women aren't saying things about those things because in their past, when they try to bring them up, the guys lash out. So she could be on the date being like, everything's totally fine. And then next thing you know, you're not hearing from her. The number of guys I've, I've had say, yeah, I was talking to this girl and you know, I hooked up against her and she, she gave me a smile and she seemed to really, really like it. And then she suddenly just stopped talking to me. And I'm thinking, it's because she, you were touching her and you know, all this stuff and she was smiling at you because she didn't want to make a fuss. But in reality, she wasn't feeling that stuff at all. you know. And so if you know more, for example, about when to touch women on dates, when to go for that first kiss, the kind of things that women don't want to talk about on dates or, or average reasons why women will pull away from you. Then when those things happen out in the wild, you'd be like, oh, crap, I did this thing, didn't I? OK. Or you'll be like, I, she's, yeah, she's asked for a second date. That's great because because I didn't do any of this stuff that I did before. So that's why I say it behooves you. And I really stress on this channel, like the idea that, you know, Women have their own stuff to deal with, but my my job for you as a guy is to take self-ownership of the things that you're doing on your end to either attract women or to repel women. And it's good to know both things because if you're 
complaining that, you know, women just go from like wanting to hook up with me to not, then there is seriously something wrong that is happening in your dating process that you need to be made more aware of. So that will happen a lot less. All right. But rarely do women just be like, yeah, that was a good hookup. Okay. I'm out of here. Do, 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 do. Like, Hey, I'm, I'm 42. Maybe it happens more in the younger generation where they're just like, I'm going to hook up with the guy and just leave him. But I find to this day that women still are typically trying to hook up with dudes with, to, with the idea of getting into relationships. So if a woman's hooking up with you, and then all of a sudden she goes ghost. Just like, I remember one time I hooked up with a woman and then on after our hookup, the next time we went on a date, she was telling me about all these times that she was in abusive relationships where sometimes she was also abusive. And I was like, I, what the? and then she started like being extra needy with the text and then trying to want my attention all the time and all this stuff. So I was like, oh, I got to get out of this. You ask her, I probably ghosted her because I got what I wanted as a guy. I, I got to hit it and quit it and I don't want her anymore. And she has no idea that all the stuff that she was bringing to the table after the hookup was what made me leave. So as guys, you got to get out of the, the idea out of your head that like you're doing everything right and that it's just women are crazy. You got to look at objectionally, uh, objectively, what are things that you could be possibly doing that is causing this to happen? Because if it was like one woman, you went out with one woman, hooked up with her, she left you, okay, she's crazy. Five, six, nine, ten women. It's not, it's not just them. So you got to consider that. So then he says, so then they do the whole thing. Don't, they don't bother you for a month or two. And then you run into each other and she's friendly. And then she wants to look up again. And, and I talk about this all the time about how if you're doing so much and they go no contact, it's because they need time to reset and they need time to not feel that you're a guy that's as needy as you're currently making yourself look in their lives. So they leave you for a month. They see you out somewhere. They realize, oh, he didn't contact me for a month. He's not tripping over, over me being gone. He didn't throw a fit. He didn't try to stalk me. So you know what? Maybe I was reading things the wrong way. I'm going to hook up with this guy again. But you know what happens that guys don't take into account? They do another hookup with the girl, and then they bring back in all the behavior that caused them to pull away in the first place. And then the girl's like, oh, I thought he wasn't like this anymore, but he still is. I got to pull away again. And again, these are all subconscious behaviors. So they're not thinking consciously, oh, he's doing the same stuff. I got to go away. But what's happening is you're now giving her that same feeling tone that you gave her the first time that she pulled away from you. And so now she's got to pull away again. And you're sitting there. Well, oh. And that's because as guys, like, once you make a decision on somebody, we're stuck. Well, unless, unless they do something cataclysmic or like, you know, stop showing loyalty, we will typically be like, I will make this work. I, I mean, from thick and thin. But women are, are a feelings-based journey. If they start feeling things that indicate that you're going back to the way you were before, that they didn't like, that's all it takes for them to want to get out. And so guys get bugged by that because we are wired differently. So you don't have to like the way women are wired and, and the fact that they'll come back in and then they'll hang with you a little bit more, then they'll go back out. But if you're causing them to have those same feelings that they had before, yeah, that's going to happen a lot. So this is why I tell you guys, a lot of this is intel. When a woman goes no contact, that is code for you were doing things that indicated to me that you were needy or desperate or you were just not being a man, man, and I had to go away. I decided to come back to you now because you, by, by, by leaving me alone for a month, I realized maybe you were actually a man's man. Maybe I was tripping. But now that I'm back with you, you're going back to that behavior before, and I don't like that feeling. And so women are always going to be ebb and flow with their feelings. And so to them, they have the complete right to be able to leave you and come back based on how you're making them feel at any given moment. The more consistent you are in doing things that show you as masculine, show you as a leader, and show you as a guy that is confident versus needy, then they're going to be more apt to want to stay around and stick around longer. You know, so that's, the, but that's the example of like things that you as a guy have to learn and know. And then as you start to learn those things, you'll be, and not that you will ever be frustrated, but you'll be more understanding of where women are coming from. And as a default of that, you will be less frustrated in the long run. And that's all I'm about. Again, I cannot control what women do or what women at large act as though. I, women come to me sometimes and ask me questions and I give them answers, but ultimately they're going to do, they're going to operate on whatever operating system they were born with, right? I can only help you guys figure out what's going to work best for you and your operating system and understanding theirs to a point where, okay, now that I've given you the instructions for their operating system, know that this system is not going to change. But here are some guides to get around these parameters so that way you won't have to deal with the negative side of this operating system. That's all I can do for you guys. So hopefully if you're able to take that and understand that you'll be able to do a better job on your end of things which will show and by way of that you'll get better results from her so hopefully guy this helps answer your question you the bad boy but you can't stop won't stop Let's you are high earning high value high class man you are high earning high value high class man you are high earning high value high class man <laughs>
You a high class man. You a high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class.